two miles in between where I live and my land, they're doing something with the utilities, so I'm in a traffic jam. Can you imagine not being in a traffic jam ever? This is the only traffic I've had in about a year. Tell this guy what's up. Stop traffic too long. And this is where I'm gonna put my barn and one of my outbuildings right here. So Larry brought in a load of dirt and getting everything leveled. Just leveling off the leach field. We've got three 50 foot lines, 1,000 gallon tank. One important thing on that tank that I had to do on Saturday, my camera died. Uh, I had to fill it up halfway with water. So I had to go fetch 500 gallons and bring it down and drain it in because even though it's a concrete tank, if you're in clay, it'll float up if it gets a big rain. We were supposed to get three inches today, but I don't think that's coming until later or maybe tomorrow, I don't know. So, okay. work while the sun shines. It's supposed to be 70 degrees today. Wow. We must use a lot of WD-40. Go time. So you, but how do you, how do you end up getting the, the bit out after it's all said and done? After it's all done, I yeah. just pull the stems back out, unthread each one, just like I unthreaded that one. So it's basically, you got to drill well twice pretty much, because you got to get your put drill. Put everything together going down hole and then pull it apart coming back out. Holy cow, so yeah. double. That's double duty. Wow. Mm -hmm. So is this is is mainly the wa is that mainly the air breaking up the rock i mean well, these little things will grind it up a little yeah, bit it, it sits there and hammers like see this bit here uh -huh. um you can see a gap in it right here yeah it moves right there not much but kind of like a uh, an air hammer yeah you'd use or like oh, a yeah. needle gun it, right it just barely moves that's that hammering you're hearing and then it, of course, turns, so all these little buttons break up the rock, and then it turns, grinds it up. Awesome. And, of course, the air shoots out the bottom of this bit, so it blows all the cuttings, water, and everything all the way up and out the hole. And the water the water comes down through there, too? Yeah. Yeah, oh. the water comes in with the air. Wow. So, okay.
drilled. We got into some a little bit of water, about a half a gallon a minute. He said, of course, we need more than that, so we're going to keep drilling tomorrow. He ran out of water. That's why we quit. I'm just doing my last errand right now. I'm dropping a check off with Larry for the dirt work he did today with the dozer and that septic tank. So head over and drop that off and go back home and have a cocktail and edit a video and maybe get some dinner. Today we got the um, site work done for where I'm going to put my barn and my uh, tool shop and thinking about building um, a mill, a lumber mill shed. Looks like I've got a line on really nice used lumber mill so I'll try to make a phone call about that later on today but thanks for coming along don't forget to like and subscribe things are about to get interesting around here one of the ways that we reward ourselves is food delta here good lord bless this food we're about to receive Hey. What do you think? Hear your name. We have to have talk. The neighbor the neighbors have told me that you have been coming to visit them. The neighbors told me that. Is that true? You want them to throw the ball for you? Hey, I've made a decision that I'm going to get a pig here in a little bit. I'm just noticing how much pork we eat, and if we get a pig, we can't name him. She's super stoked that I don't eat that much. No chasing stray kids. Also, mm, what are the other problems? Oh, no robbing um, Coke machines. Oh. It was 70 degrees today. We have the door open. 